you've got questions, we've got answers. We have the man to answer them, Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Partners. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. Hey, good to be back with you, Bob. Good to have you because I got a question in queue. Here it goes like this. Uh, my parents helped me buy a condo. The form 1098 is in my name. Do you think this sort of a- arrangement requires me to use a tax professional or could I just use something like TurboTax to do my taxes? And do you think I need a tax professional when I sell the condo to figure out how much capital gains I have and how much my parents might have? Uh, it's a really good question. And it comes down to, you know, how did your parents help you buy this house? Are they a, a partner in this house with you? In other words, like, are they on the title to this house? Or, uh, or was this really just a, a gift that was made? So if it, uh, if, the, if your parents are on the, the title with you and, and they are making certain payments that, yeah, you may need to split some of these tax benefits and apportion them between you. Uh, but it sounds like this was more of a gift that your parents just you know, were, were kind enough and, and fortunate enough to be able to, to, you know, to give you some of the money towards the down payment of the house. In that case, then uh, this is your house. You know, the fact that they helped fund it via a gift is really irrelevant. And in terms of whether you need a tax professional to to figure these things out, the answer is really depends upon you. Um, You know, the 1098 being in your name, that doesn't seem to be a a large concern there. Uh, And in fact, depending upon your situation, you still may end up taking the standard deduction, given that the standard deduction today is so high, particularly if you're married and file a joint return. Now, beyond that, when you go to sell the house, uh, it, if you plan to give back some money to your parents as part of this, again, if they're not on the deed, if they weren't actually an investor in the, the property with you, if it was really more of a, hey, here's some money, go buy your house. And when you sell it, you can give us it back. It really becomes a gift from them to you and then a gift from you back to them upon the sale of the house. So uh, with gifts, if they're over a certain amount, uh, this year, $15,000 per person per year. So parents can give you each $15,000. And when you give it back, you could give $15,000 to each of them. Uh, But if you go above and beyond that, you would need to file a gift tax return uh, technically in order to report that gift. And that would decrease what's known as your, your lifetime estate and gift tax exclusion amount. So currently that's nearly $12 million a person. Uh, there are some proposals to bring that back to three and a half million or 5 million, depending upon who you believe and what reports you want to cite. Um, but in either case, still a, a significant amount of money. So not necessarily would create a tax, but that you would need to file that, uh, file that gift tax return. I'd also note that if this is your primary residence, when you go to sell the property, provided you lived in it, for two out of the last five years and you're the owner, uh, then you may be able to, or you will be able to use uh, the exclusion from the sale of a personal residence. Now, if if it's just you and you are the owner, then we're looking at a $250,000 exclusion amount. If it's you and your your spouse who are actually the owners of this property, again, even if the gift came from your mom and dad, uh, then you would have potentially $500,000 of exclusion. In either way, if this is a short-term thing, you're probably covered on that gain, provided you spend at least the next two years there and this is your primary residence. So you may not have any tax liability when you do go to sell this home. All depends upon how this is actually structured, who technically is the owner, and, uh, and of course, who, uh, whether you're filing married, filing joint, et cetera, whether this was a true gift or whether this is just kind of a word of mouth uh, shaking, you know, uh, hey, I'll do this for you. And then when you sell the house, you'll do this for me. Kind of a, a handshake gift gift, if you will. Right. So I'm looking around and here it is. Found my <laughs> hammer. Hey, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it again. Well, thank you. And uh, it's a great question. And if you'd like us to answer your great question, uh, then just let us know. Reach out to us by emailing us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. 